into oh let's go Bismillah, salam alaikum. Let's see which gets the better pulls. A regular Obsidian Flames ETB or a Pokemon Center Obsidian Flames ETB. So we'll start off with the regular ETB. Why not? We have opened a regular ETB and a Pokemon Center ETB in previous videos separately. Um, but why not compare the two and see which has the better pulls? So no need to show what's inside the ETB. We already have a video on that. But we do have nine obsidian flames booster packs in the regular etb and of course a very nice regular charmander promo card here we go the first pack for the regular etb now we have nine packs plus 11 so we have 20 packs to absolutely try to fly through in today's video boizel let's see if we can get some decent hits i'm pretty sure the previous regular etb and the previous pokemon center etb Right, an EX started off, not too bad. I'm pretty sure we didn't get amazing pulls for either of them. So this is like a redemption video for both of them. On to the second pack. The regular ETB is already on the board from pack number one. But it's not necessarily about how many hits you get. It's about what those hits are. Toad scroll. Can we get the or any any one of the chase cards? Numeral reverse hollow. Pidgeot EX Full Art. That's a very, very nice Ultra Rare. I think we got this already in the first ETB. That might have been the Japanese one. Well, I suppose we've got an English one as well now. I'll take it. Pack number three. That is, I mean, what a start, right? A Full Art and also an EX. Not a bad start at all. Let's see if we can carry on Listreak. Oh, too many cards. Doubtland. Inkay, reverse hollow drillba into the gita that we do not want. We want the other ones. Pack number four. All I've seen so far from videos is people pulling things out of their minds with this set. For them, the pull rates are absolutely gorgeous. Love this Charizard card, uh, this uh, Charmander card. But for myself, it's just not going too well. I mean, this is what? The fourth product we're opening into a sizzle guaranteed hollow which we do not like pack number five suppose we could say we're halfway through so this will be the what is it we've opened up a regular etb a pokemon center etb a booster box so that's three products this is the fourth product we are opening and oh the basic energy gold a hyper rare not a bad etb so far <laughs> very bottom heavy but i mean I'll take it. It's a hyper rare. Very nice. Can we get the double? We do. Vespa Queen EX. It's actually a very, very, very nice ETB so far. Considering we have, what, four packs left? Oh my goodness. This might just destroy the Pokemon Center one. Pack number six. Four hits. Two really good hits so far. And we have quite a few packs left. Cannot be complaining about this here ETB so far. Let's hope there's just one, even if there's just one more. One more hit, and this is a crazy ETB. Into, oh, let's go! Alhamdulillah, the Charizard Ultra Rare. Gorgeous. Very nice. The full, I'm pretty sure this is the full art version. The full arts Charizard. Oh me, oh my. It's cut fairly well. I won't say slightly left and side heavy. Can't see any chips or anything like that. It could. It looks very left side heavy, actually. But a very nice card. Very, very. This ETB is actually incredible. It's crazy because the Pokemon Center one has two extra packs. So if it doesn't come through with the goods, shan't be getting any more Pokemon Center ones. Very nice. The first Charizard pull. We've gotten the gold one. Spoilers. And now we have the Full Arts one. There is only one left to go. Well, we've gotten the X as well. So three out of four. Pack number seven. Wow, pack number seven. Three packs to go. There could potentially be another hit in this. And we already have five hits. Three really good hits. Can we continue this, this pretty insane ETB? Espion. Floatzel. Boizel. Into a palafin, of course. Not complaining. Got some decent ones from this ETB so far. Pack number eight. The final before the final. If you want to get your hands on one of these, be sure to head over to unitycollectibles.com. 
because we have plenty in stock. Pidgey, here we go. The final before the final. What else can we pull from this regular ETB? It's been a, it's been an insane regular ETB. Reverse Hollow Togedim Maru into a Scovillain. And just like that, the final pack of the ETB. Let's see if we can end it with an absolute bang. Here we go. Bullby, Pidgey. Smoliv Combi, just one more hit. One more juice. Juicy hit, please. Here we go. Mawile. Reverse Hollow Volpix. Oh, Reverse Hollow Print Lines. Into a Palafin. Okay. Nothing else from that ETB. However, let's go ahead and crack open the Pokemon Center ETB. Handy dandy memory stick. Who needs a... Who needs an opener when you've got a uh, an old USB stick? So, of course, the main difference between the Pokemon Center ETB and the regular ETB is, of course, you get two Charmander promo cards. And one, of course, has the Pokemon Center logo on it. Very nice. And this is cut far better than the first one that we had. And we have 11 Obsidian Flames packs instead of nine. Here we go. The first pack for the Pokemon Center ETB. Now, oh me, oh my, does this Pokemon Center ETB have a lot, a lot to do. Varum. Let's see if we can start it off nice and quickly. Just like the regular ETB. Beatrice did so. Charmeleon, Exodrill, Bunnelby, Varum vs. Hollow into a Togekiss. It's not looking good. Swiftly moving on to the second pack. If I can get it open. There we go. Plenty of packs left to go. And if you think about it, we don't need to get anything in the first two packs at all. As long as the other nine packs are pretty good. Two packs. Two more packs. Surely. Reverse Hologita. Scizor. Nothing yet. Pack number three. We move. Fungus. Nose Pius. Litwick. Who is that? <laughs> Soul Rock. I don't think I've ever seen that Pokemon in my life. Houndstone. Combi Reverse Hollow. Oh, a regular Reverse Hollow. And a Togekiss. It's not looking good at all. I mean, I suppose it doesn't really matter how many hits. How many hits, like I've said. As long as the hits that we get are actually incroyable. I think that's how you pronounce it in French. Doug Trio. Houndstone. Here we go. Rever oh, Artisan. Very nice. Another Hyper Rare. We're one for one in Hyper Rares in each box. In each in each ETB. Can we get the Double? That's the question. Into no, we cannot. Of course we can't. Not a bad looking card, though. Very nice. Very shiny. Pack number five. It's crazy to think that four packs in... We actually get our first hit. Oh me, oh my. Here we go. Charmander. Let's pick up the pace now with this Pokemon Center ETB. Surely. Surely it's got far more hits. Camerupt. Clodsire. Reverse. Oh, there's the Pidgey. A very nice illustration rare. And I'm pretty sure we've got this in Japanese. I don't think we've got it in English before. The Double of <laughs> the common Darkrai Hollow. It's a common. This is an absolute lie. It's not a rare. It's a common. But another hit nevertheless. Pack number six. More than halfway through. I feel like the regular ETB is absolutely f destroying this one so far. But it's not over until the fat lady, aka Professor Joke, sings. Granbull. Into a reverse hollow Nummel, into a palafin. Absolutely nothing from there. Pack number seven. It'll be interesting to see if regular hollow cards um, in Scarlet and Violet, because they're guaranteed, are they actually worth anything at all? Because I'm pretty sure for for Sword and Shield, you could get you could get something for the uh, for the regular hollows because they weren't guaranteed. So I wonder, I wonder if it's the same reverse hollow Espeon. Reverse Hollow Drill Bar and a Toxtricity. Pack number eight. I suppose it's if they're playable cards, which I have no clue about. I've not really see, uh, well researched which cards are playable and which cards are not. So I suppose I don't really have that going for me either. Circuit. Malamar. Grumpig. Bellybot. Reverse Hollow Rupa. Reverse Hollow Squove if you're posh. Into a Coridon EX. 
Did we get one? I'm pretty sure we got one in the uh, regular ETB, so I suppose that's like for like. Pack number nine. Another hit, though, nevertheless, so I suppose it's not that bad. Three hits in eight packs. I mean, the Pokemon Center ETB, I don't know where it's going to find it, but it's got to pull something out of somewhere. Trevenant, Electros, Serena Reverse Hollow, Diggersby Reverse Hollow. It's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. Ain't it? Pack number 10. The final before the final. Anything in this pack. Three hits. It's just not looking good for the Pokemon Center one. Not at all. Phantom. Vulpix. It's got to pick it up. Trevenant. Electros. One card could change it all. And that is not the card. <laughs> On to the final pack of the video. And the final pack of the Pokemon Center ETB. If there was ever a time to pull something incredible from an ETB, now would be the time. Because the regular ETB, in just nine packs, two packs less, has absolutely destroyed the Pokemon Center ETB. Here we go. Reverse Holo Electric. This is its chance. Reverse Holo Togedemaru. If this is not a hit, it's... Oh my goodness. What? Well, there we have it. Promo cards to the side. For the Pokemon Center ETB, 11 packs. We got a Coridon EX, a Pidgey Illustration Rare, and a Artisan Hyper Rare. Three hits. One really good hit, and two eh, hits. For the regular ETB, we got a Coridon EX, which, let, let's be honest, like for like, that cancels out. A Vespiqueen EX, a Pidgeot EX... I was going to say Hyper Rare then. Ultra Rare, a Full Art, which I suppose beats that Pidgey. A Basic Energy, Hyper Rare, which I suppose cancels that one, cancels the uh, Artisan out. And then, of course, a Charizard Full Art. There's no need to ask you guys who won. It's absolutely clear. The regular ETB won. <laughs> Head over to unitycollectibles.com for a variety of Pokemon products and much more. Also, be sure to check out all our socials linked in the description.